Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another cast of the Rise of the Witch King, patch 2.02 version 7. This is your broadcaster, Farron, and today's matchup is going to be a little bit of a special game. As you can see here from this map, it is not a map that you have really seen anywhere else, unless, of course, unless you turned into the Jennifer Salty Cup, the little spoopy one from Halloween. Um, this is one of the special maps that was made for that. Uh, but before we do get into this map, let's get right back into this yeah, game. The matchup in the north and in the west is going to be Haku as the pink Isengard. His ally is going to be the green, lime green Ising or Mordor of Velimar. Their opponent to the south is going to be the white Mordor of Belenos there. And uh, Belenos' uh, ally is going to be Aber as the red goblin. So as you can see, this is a strange map that was made for that Halloween tournament. Um, if you want to check it out, uh, Destroyer did stream it and upload some of the videos to his YouTube channel from his stream. So if you want to watch the rest of it, go check out that. Um, but this is the first game of the finals in that. Uh, it was not uh, able to be fully streamed as uh, Destroyer, I think, did DC later on. So he would not be able to save the replay or anything. So this is going to be just a cast for uh, those who did not get to see this. But if y'all do want to check out that game, I would uh, highly recommend it. It was a great tournament. Lots of cool new maps being introduced, including this one. Um, so go to Destroy, check out Destroyer's channel if you want to see that. Uh, you do have Aber going for a couple of Goblin Ks. Wants to get that Goblin Spam going. Already has one battalion on the field advancing towards his opponents there. Actually, might be able to get this uh, Slaughterhouse over here. That is Velimar. Velimar getting two Orcs of his own up. You do have... Uh, Haku going for an orc bit start. Got his crosses on the field. Already has some Urukai uh, on the field. You have, however, Pink going for the uh, Harajan uh, Lancers start off of a level 2 Harajan Palace. So, if we're in that cap start early on. But as for this map, it is called the Altar of Ultimate Sacrifice. As you can see, there is the Altar of Ultimate Sacrifice. You have uh, a neat little evil dock down here. You do have up in the north uh, the Tower of Orthanc or the Tower of Mount Fire. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Um, as for other things, you do have some towers, some walls along the side. It's supposed to be a snowy, uh, evilish Halloween spoopy map. So I would say it does qualify for that. You have the Goblin Warriors. That thing, I think, two uh, slaughterhouses now. Uh, so I would be making a good pickup there. You do have Haku going for the Warg uh, pit. Maybe to get some Warg to counter his opponent's uh, Goblin Warriors spam. The Urukai attack group now engaging in the front line. However, it does have the Kree Bane debuff up in the field. But the poison damage is still going to be dealing enough damage to make it worth not worthwhile. The cross was there of uh, Haku as well as Valimar with some orcs. They're going to try and take out these Goblin Wars before they take out this front. I think they will be successful. But here come the Harajim. Uh, actually, I don't know where the Lancers did go for Pink, actually. Oh, there they are. They are over aiding out Aber over here, so the Hurdlers are going to be quite useful taking out these Urukai. Some Orc or Goblin Archers for uh, Ab Aber over there. I can't remember these names for some reason. Uh, there's some Corsairs now in the field for Belenos. Of course, they're very powerful. They do have that Firebomb ability as well as being uh, very proficient uh, fighters. The uh, Lancers of Pink over there. Clipping the uh, Easterlings that are off of the Harajan Palace for Valimar up here. Valimar getting some more Easterlings as well as more arc, some Orc Archers actually in the field. Calvary of Belenos not looking to do some harass potentially around the side over here. We do have Pikes in the field, however, for Haku to counter that. Goblin Wars now advancing through the base of Haku over here. As you have Aber now with four Goblin Caves, doesn't have a decent amount of caves to stay off of. Could either, guy, could either go for a uh, Spider Pit or maybe just go for. Uh, a few more goblin caves to just keep that spam up. Although, as far as uh, spamming, I would not recommend going for a huge amount of spam. You do, however, have Haku with those war off of that level two war pit now. Going to be quite effective at nullifying these uh, these goblin warriors and their harassment. Though they are still sitting on those two orc pits in the Eastling Palace. Um, I don't see a farm in the back over here. It might be a bit of a mistake. Might have lost it, or maybe he just isn't rebuilding it there. Apparently, there's something down there under the ground that you can see that you can select. The Lemur, however, making a nice push against Belenos over here. But Belenos, uh, using those fire bumps to quite a good effect, melting these very weak orcs here. And the, the Corruption Lancer is being good, very uh, good at finding some harass to do, as well as trampling their opponent. Uh, however, you do have a Pike Battalion of Haku over here, going to be doing a lot of. Uh, 
They're doing some creeping over here. They got the troll lair that is over here. You do have another troll lair over here, as well as have uh, two goblin lairs up, one in the north, one in the south, and some goblin lairs protecting these two passes here. I think there actually is a Sheila bin over here. So there's a uh, neutral Sheila that doesn't really move out or attack, as well as you can see there, I've never seen it before, some skulls in, that, in the rocks over here. You do have the ward rocks over near two battalions where we're going to be engaging the hard lanches of Bellinus there, and we will take them out quite easily as they take it as they try to har harass over here. Uh, it looks like Pink is going to be able to uh, pink or Bellinos or Pink Unicorn, uh, as many of you know, may know him as that. Uh, I don't think he goes by that anymore, but he did, uh, did at one time go by that name. You do have Pink keeping this troll over here. I'm gonna get that second level for his Easterlings over there. Gonna go for the troll there to get the uh, the money off of it. But here comes Valimar with a nice push. Gonna be getting a good harass on all the troops of Bellinos here. Aber though, with some Goblin work, gonna try to take out this farm. But the war is going to be, I think, quite effective at nullifying that push there. There is more war riders, so Haka going very heavy on the war riders here. However, he needs to be careful as he do does leave these war riders in here. They will be uh, quickly hurt, surrounded by these goblin warriors and poisoned and they taken down quite easily. In fact, these goblin warriors are going to be able to, I think, potentially keep these uh, war riders from getting out most of the time as they are uh, very fast. And usually, it takes a long time for the war riders to get out of the clump once they do uh, get caught up in there. Uh, orc archers for Valimar. Four battalions, that's going to be quite powerful at melting enemy troops. Does he need to target down these, uh, target down these, uh, Corsairs over here? Their firebombs are being quite effective against, uh, Valimar's troops. Uh, you have some Harajan archers now for Pink. Coming off of that level three, uh, Harajan palace there. He's getting some Eastlings of his own as well as, uh, two orc bits there for him. Aber now sitting on five Goblin Caves. Could potentially uh, level up, but I feel like he really feel like he needs to get into the spiderlings or the spider riders to counter the war riders of his opponent. And now you have three battalions for Haku, uh, as well as some pikes and crossbows moving across the map to go do some damage. Um, Pink trying to make a push of his own with some Harajan archers to back it up, but the orc archers, if them are, if they are smart, will target down these Harajan archers and easily destroy them before they can do any damage. However, I think they're not really targeting anything for some reason. I assume they're doing nothing. It's kind of strange as they are in that aggressive stage. They should be auto targeting on their own. Pink, I think, moving to aid is the ally over there as Haku is now making quick work of all these hordes that Aber does create. Um, potentially get a couple more riders in there to be easily be able to trample this entire horde. Uh, but Aber, I really feel like he needs to get that spiderling pit and get uh, spider riders or the spiderlings out to counter these cavalry. If uh, Haki were to turn to fight the spider riders with his cavalry, he would win. But if he were to just keep running, the spiderlings would keep up with them and deal damage. Uh, these these, these uh, Corsairs doing work as they do manage to burn out a lot of these troops. Uh, however, you have the Harajan Lancers for Valimar on the field now to start countering these unprotected Orc Hordes. Next is some Eastlings over here uh, helping out with some crossbows to help that Aber out. But there's nothing really protecting these Orcs, so this uh, Harajan Lancers could be quite effective uh, if they use properly. The War Riders of Haku still being quite effective. Two of those kinds are level two. You might want to get those home with them regents so he has that unit retention and doesn't really waste a whole bunch of money on new units. I see he will not potentially need to use them all the time. Aber now with a enormous horde of goblin warriors can eventually overwhelm any uh, enemy forces. Also has the back cloud going up on his opponents there. You have the corruption lancers of pink as well as volume are meeting in the middle. But there's a lot of insulin from uh, Haku over there. He doesn't have a 10 power point. He's going to go and take out a Goblin Cave, but the Goblin Cave, I don't think it's going to be a serious pickup for him. He's going to get that one Goblin Cave, potentially two, could maybe even go for three. That's going to be a big blow to Aber. And I feel like if this game is not to be lost at this point, I feel like Pink needs to do similar damage to Valimar over here. Now we're sending some troops up to the north. I don't know if it's going to be enough there, as Valimar is also advancing on the base of a Pink over here. These War Bears. Actually, I don't think uh, Haku will be able to get this Goblin Cave down. Might be able to, but at what cost? He might lose his War Riders over here. However, there is these uh, Pikes as well as Urkai taking out one of the farms that is almost level 2 there. 
The Ward Riders, I think both times are going to be able to get home safely. I'm not sure what happened to the level 2 battalion, though. I don't think it managed to survive. Uh, Pink now harassing Haku a little bit, but I don't know if it's going to be super effective because the Eastlings are out of position. The Archers, as well as the Orc Wars, are going to be trampled by those Ward Riders. And now they are engaging on Pink's forces that are going to harass him. Um, one Goblin cave down for Aber. Another one is knocked down, but still has the rubble. It will sort of rebuild itself. Aber now getting another Goblin cave up, um, as well as another tunnel there to cover for it. These Urukai in the Hold Guard stance, not in the Shield Formation. If they were a Chibma, they'd be lasting a lot longer against these Goblin Warriors. But as far as powers do go, uh, Velnos does have that Waller Chant, has 8 power points, so he's going for his 10 power point. You do have the Amar with a, the War Chant as well as 9 power points, so he's going for his 10 as well. Aber has uh, his Tain Land as well as his backup, the two fives and 4 extra power points there. Haku does have that Prebane as well as the Wild and the and the 8 power points, so he's really feeding off of his opponent's uh, Goblin Spam, getting those power points that he needs. And that's the biggest advantage of having uh, goblins versus effectiveness other than goblins. If you spam nothing but goblins, you're punishing the feed power points so quickly as they will just be killing so many of your units. Some goblin warriors now going up to harass them through the middle of here. Going actually across in the middle of the lava here, so I think it's kind of a passable service here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be passable. You do, however, have these goblin warriors taking out one of the slaughterhouses of Valiamar. Valiamar now engaging Pink in the middle. Massive engagement. Has a lot of orc archers as well as Eastlings, orc warriors. Who are marching towards Pelnos. Just have the war chant going on both of the sides there. As you think with some uh, orc warriors over here trying to help out his ally. As it looks like Aber has had to put up the spiraling expansion to be able to save his uh, building. Because this will be, able to be under damage to Hackney's forces. The Hackney's forces are still managing to push in safely. The uh, Hackney's war warriors just have three battalions safely on the field still. Uh, Two of them are level 2, so we might want to get those level 2 ones home, as I say, so we can get them to regen. They do need to regen fully up to uh, full battalion there, or else they will not be as effective. Haku actually with two forces of a pike and an urukai sitting in the middle over here, as well as the war riders, four, those four battalions now, has uh, another uh, force of urukai and pike, so he's kind of spreading them out a little bit, maybe so we can do some good harass. Volume are uh, Haxi now has to deal with a Felbius from Belnos over here. He needs to be careful. He needs to invest in some Horizon Archers, I think. He does have a level 3 Archer, or excuse me, Horizon Palace, as well as the level 2 Orc, but it's going for those Black Orcs. Uh, he has not purchased the Bandit Carriers, though, so he'll end up getting that Bloodthirsty ability uh, very easily off of those units. The Felbius now of Felnos is going to be going over to start helping out with his ally as those Warp Riders are unable to defend against this uh, Felbius, and there's not really many Archers for. Haku here, however, the two or two crosses in the area, they're going to be in to work down this Felbius. Uh, forward Seas works for Haku coming up, but Pink is going to be pushing up on Nebeliamar with a large four. He's going to surround this farm and kicking out a level 3 battalion of uh, Easterlings of Nebeliamar. Good unit retention right there, as well as those Black Orcs and the Harajim Archers in the back now. And I think Nebeliamar might be able to pull off his attack here with those superior uh, Black Orcs there. You do have, however, Pink coming over to help out his allies. Haku is once again pushing in a little bit. Uh, Valium are now over across the field with some orc archers there, I think, to help protect a little bit against the Talbys. Not sure what uh, use uh, just those five orc archers are going to use. For some reason, when I've been doing cast recently, there's been a lot of battalions of just five units left in the field. Uh, the the Felbeast of Valimar, or excuse me, of Thelnos is going to be finding these orc archers once again, take out a large portion of them with one fell swoop. And finally, those orc are going to go down to pink there. However, Valimar now pushing down with some more Black Orcs, and I think he was mostly victorious on his front over here, though both sides lost most of the troops. I think the level 3 battalion of Eastlings might be able to survive there, actually, if they can get out fast enough. But the level 2 battalion of Black Orcs, I think, will go down there. So level 3 battalion still managing to be staying on the field. Good unit retention for uh, Valimar there. Valimar now with some more Orcs on his side of the field, trying to help protect his ally there. His ally does have to deal with the Felbeast over here. Actually, a builder for Hacker going down. Uh, Aber now trying to flood him with his orc warriors. As you can see from the map, he has a large amount of orc warriors in the field. has uh, six goblin caves. Uh, he could potentially go for a seventh, but I feel like he really needs to get the spiderling pit, get those uh, spider riders or these spiderlings. Maybe some. Uh, actually, I feel like at this point, he doesn't really have to worry as much about the cavalry as Hacker has to be careful about the Felbeast, which is now just uh, holding out in the middle of the sea over the side here. 
but he might actually want to invest in the fisher so he can get that higher tier units the siege maybe or the fire dra like drake boots um actually i feel like i think balanus is going to do some harass actually with this fellow but he's kind of flying past this or think over here you do have our Valiumar pushing down on Belenos. Belenos with a massive force over here. But there is going to be uh, the black arrows from the Surrounder Archers as well as fire arrows for Valiumar. So he has the advantage over in Archer power. Uh, however, Valiumar with the massive amount of forces needs uh, her own lanterns not being put to good use there. Uh, you do have the Eye of Siren being cast by Valiumar over here. So the Eye's troops double buff, I believe. Um, you do have still the fires for a Haku as well, but the Fell Beast is going to be in the backside doing a massive amount of damage. Haku, however, with that weapon, so I'm going to work him in this Goblin case once again. Uh, you do have Aber at 8 power points, who's almost at his, his first level 10 power point. Uh, you do have Felonos at 10 power points, who's have his first 10 power point. Well, actually, he does have Industry, so he has his first about 10, but he will purchase, I think. Uh, you know, I think he's going for his 15 power points, so potentially going for that. Um, I'm not sure what's in that side of power tree. It might be the summon warring ability or potentially the freezing rain. However, drop flag on the field for Bellano is going to be working on those forces, going to be able to give leadership buff through his orcs in just a minute here. Actually, a level four Harajim Archer Battalion for pink, good unit retention for him right here. However, he needs to be careful. These black orcs are going to push in, try and engage them. I think they're going to be able to work him down, but actually, uh, Gothmog going to go into tomato mode, level two, but he is very low health. I feel like Valimar might need to push in and get this orc art down uh, if Gothmog will be a little bit of a blow there. He already does have the drummer troll, so if he can get Gothmog down, he will not have that carnage ability. But Haku now pushing in the base of Abra over here, taking out um, I fit only one Goblin Cave, but a lot of uh, eco, I think, uh, as he's circling around the base, taking out more eco. There is, however, a Fissure on the field. It is um, a level 2 Fissure. He's getting those uh, half of Sultans out, but there is some uh, Urukai in the back over here trying to work him down, but this uh, tunnel is going to be working them down. It is level 3, as well as the half of Sultans, half of Sultans, now back on the field, and here comes the Felbeast circling back. Actually, I believe this is a neutral uh, trebuchet over here, or troll stone thrower. And this really cool little uh, evil dock sort of thing. Actually, a uh, level three uh, tunnel over here for Aber a little bit damaged. We potentially lose that, but here come the war of Haku now in the backside. We're doing damage, but they are a little overextended. I don't know if they're going to get out alive. Actually, that's going to be a big blow to Haku. Aber, or excuse me, Pink trying to make a push of his own. Going to get a little bit surrounded here, though. As he has to deal with that. There are all these black orcs, the Easterlings, and the uh, Heart of Lancers. As soon as I say that, the Heart of Lancers charge and get themselves killed. But I feel like uh, Valimar has the potential to wipe out this entire force, but does need to be careful. It's Gothmog in there. And does have the uh, Iron Hand Fear uh, debuff, or Fear Resist. And there is the Felbeast now taking out those Ward Riders. The Ward Riders actually, I think, I'm not sure what's going on there. It might be. Uh, a screech, or potentially it could be. Uh, oh, actually, Aber going for a good, uh, a good call here. Going for that Sheila does have to deal with that uh, field quirky stop as she turns, but she does have that nice trample, and we'll be able to work on all these archers, which are a big threat to this fellow piece of pink over here. Actually, this uh, slaughterhouse for Valiumar is going to be level three, but it's going to be in a little bit of danger as there comes uh, pink with a large force, uh, the level four battalion is going to be still alive. I think there was an air volley of pink going down right there. I guess there was an air volley of pink going on right there. He did use it right there to kind of, I think, take out some truth, essentially push his opponent back a little bit more. Uh, you do have to worry about uh, siege works, on, siege boosts on the field for Haku. Aber needs to be careful of that. The, however, Sheila's going to be trying to nullify that, but it needs to be careful as those archers are going to work down all forces in the area. Uh, I feel like she'll be good well put to use trample on these archers, but those pikes are going to scare her off, I think. And now you do have this uh, level 3 farm for Belmar. It's going to be uh, safe at half health. But the drummer is going to go down. These troops are not going to be as buff. Pushing back, I think, to this uh, chain lane. And now two attacks on the field for Pink from a level 2 uh, troll cage. Or level 3 troll cage. So Pink going for a lot of uh, higher tier units. Going to trample over these uh, black orcs. And as you can see, you heard just a second ago, it was a burp. It just has to happen. Mount the sign on the field for Valimar. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good, a good choice in this situation. These attack goals are, are going to be able to work them down quite easily. The, Heart of Lancers are going to charge in, but right in front of those Tectrolls. I think the Tectrolls are not going to engage, though. So you think you're going to go for potentially that level 3 uh, uh, farm. But one of them is going to be taken out by these Heart of Archers. We did have that fire arrow ability for upgrade on them. Pink and Aber fighting it out, or excuse me, Haku and Aber keep calling him Pink because he is uh, the color pink. But Aber and Haku are going to engage in the middle. I think a Wild Man Summon 
Maybe just some wildman. Well, I believe it was a wildman summon for Aber. Uh, going down over there, try to take out all those uh, siege boosters, but I think it's going to get taken out itself. And Valimar, or excuse me, Haku will be safe. Actually, it was backed out as well as the Creeper debuff. Haku beaconing about the Fell Beast of Belnos, now working around. He's up all the way up to level 7. Look at how he's placed all around the base over here, trying to uh, nullify any sort of push with this Fell Beast. Uh, you do have a builder for Valimar, going to be left alone, and I think going to go down to this attack over here, as well as the Orcs. Um, still another tactical on the field for Pink. I think he's going to be going for more. Also has this Mimica pet, so Pink going for a lot of higher tier units now. Whereas Valimar is still going for that more uh, basic army composition of the Drummer Trolls, the Archers, the Hard Archers, and the Black Orcs, as well as the Easterlings. Might want to. Let's have Mathis on the field. I'm not sure where he is, though. I think he's in the front line there. He is up to level 3 as so well. He almost is up to level 4, but that Doubt debuff. Uh, it looks like a little bit of a push here from Aber with Shelob and then the Orc Wars with the half Marauders. However, the Orc Archers are going to start working on Shelob. Shelob at very low health. And all those wolves, actually, I'm not sure where they all came from, but they're all running from the hills, actually. The Warg Rider is going to be targeted down by this uh, Fell Beast. And so many Warg Riders of Haku have died needlessly to this Fell Beast. There's not been enough Archer support to protect them. Uh, Pink and Venom are going to be hatching out in the middle over here. Both their forces are going to be severely buffed. However, Venom are not going to be as buffed. He doesn't have that uh, War Chant debuff as well as that uh, Drummer Tool debuff. And I think uh, Venom is going to be uh, routed into this area as Venom is just going to have, or excuse me, Pink is going to have the. Uh, uh, upper hand, Valimar's going to be routed. Uh, builder actually going down there. I'm not sure what Valimar's doing. going to pull that Builder right into the front line. He needs to get that out of there before the Harajim Archers target him down. You do have that Felbeast. He's going to be coming in, trying to scare up all these units. Um, I'm not sure what, what use it was. You just used that Screech uh, ability there, as there was basically nothing in the way of um, resistance to this Felbeast. And Ab right now has a door on the field, as you can see. Going to be working on this siege works over here, but it does start retreating. I think he's going to start working down the furnaces, actually, trying to get some levels off of him. And these flyers are going to be a very good counter to this cavalry army of Haku, which was so uh, effective early on. However, you do have, as you can see, Haku has the armory, does have his upgrade purchases, her purchase, and is putting them on his uh, units there. Ship not level 3 at level 5, I believe. She has that uh, tunnel ability and will be able to start. Um, I think it was originally called Burrow, potentially, I'm not sure, I don't remember. But it have that tunnel ability, will allow her to teleport into an area with an AoE effect. Arrow Volley going down, uh, I'm not sure who, uh, who it went down from. I think it was Valimar's, as it was burning uh, Pink's forces. But these attack trolls are going to be quite effective at wiping out the forces of Valimar. You do have, actually, the attack troll uses Dominate Troll on the Drummer Troll. I'm not sure which one it was. But the Drummer Troll is now going to be working for Pink there, and the Attack Troll is uh, up to level 2, both of them. They're going to maybe go for the Fortress. The Fortress of Valimar does have that Morgul's Fortress here upgrade. Maybe going to work down this Troll Cage to potentially eliminate any threat of a uh, level 2 Troll Cage from Valimar here. Valimar now with some forces is going to start pushing on Aber. I think he sees Aber as the weakest opponent to deal with, but his boss is basically getting royally destroyed by these Attack Trolls and the Drummer Troll uh, buff forces here. Uh, the East Hard Drum Archers are going to be working on these forces. Some Hard Drum Archers of Valiant Mark, I think, are going to be going down over right here. I think this level 3 farm actually for, um, for Valiant Mark is going to go down, as well as the level 2 Orc Pit. Uh, Mountain Song is going to come in. Try, is it the level 4? It does have a Doubt debuff, so eventually you might want to go use it over here when it, if the uh, Creebane does go down. However, there are Giants in the field for Aber. Uh, Wild Miss, I'm going to try and take that out. But the Drogoth, the Drogoth hit for Aber is going to be taking him out a little bit. I was at the level 3, but level 3, he will get that Wing Blast ability. Um, a little bit of a uh, bad situation for Valium Rabbit here. He's basically destroyed Drum Control all the way up to level 3. I've never seen Drum Control that high a level. But uh, Valium Rabbit will lose his Troll Cage, level 2, two Troll Cage, level 2 Orphan, and level 3 Furnace over here, or Slaughterhouse. So that's going to be a huge blow to him. Uh, thanks to half health on his level 3 Harajan Palace as well. But now you do have Valimar as well as Zach trying to push down. However, the air ball is going to go down. A beacon by Aber. He, uh, I'm not sure what he's beaconing about, but the air ball is going to take out most of the archers there. And there he's going to be Sheila uh, doing a lot of uh, AoE damage there. Might want to go and trample through all of these troops. Is it level, uh, almost level 4. 
has that self tear ability, as you can see from level three, and did use it right there to scatter all those units. And now you can hear a uh, Mumu kill is in the field for uh, Pink. Uh, just came out. He just had his first Mumu kill in the field. He's continually pumping troops into his opponent's base there. And a tactical now, another tactical now in the field, going to be working around taking out another. Uh, I think it might have been an orc pit. He's going to be working on a level three farm now. Builder going to go down for Bellymar as these Easterlings, or Harder Marshes Ark in the base, are going to be worried about uh, taking out that. Does, uh, does have Gothmog here, take out the level, other level 2 Orc bit. Gothmog now up to level 5, does have that leadership, of, they have the Orc ability, which is a orc, uh, an orc, uh, orc Pacific uh, leadership buff. However, the cavalry of ha uh, Haku are going to find those Easterlings, the Harder Marshes and take them out, but I think those, uh, And you do have those uh, Archer Archers are going to be taken out by the uh, War Warcrawlers. I'm not sure what that um, rock drop was used for over there. As it does t uh, take out, I think, a lookout tower, but I'm not sure what it was used for. I think it was going to be uh, Pink's uh, rock drop. And so maybe he took out a large force there. Uh, maybe he took out, I'm not sure what he did take out there. They didn't see anything that really looked like it was uh, worth taking out. However, these uh, forward seats works for Hack again. Start getting taken out. Builder going to go down to Drogoth over there. Drogoth now to level 4. At level 6, he will get the fire pedal, which is very uh, powerful against Archer lines. Pink now pushing back into the base of uh, Valiamar. And Valiamar now, Valiamar and Pink, Haku, I feel like they had advantage early on. And then they will lose that. Uh, this, um, this drummer troll, I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, looks like he was a little bit... I think this is still Terror from the Gate Watcher here. Actually, it does affect the drummer, the tactical over there. However, there is the uh, the Muma kill as well as the tactical. It's only a matter of time before Valiamar's base does get destroyed over here. It, is, it does have uh, that level 3 farm there with the industry on it, but it's so low health it could easily get knocked out. Another level 2 orc pit. But here comes now Aber without the pressure of Valiamar on him and without the ward marks to deal with. He can easily spam wa Goblin Warriors and take his opponents. Still the Ward Rider pit over here, the Ward Pit over here. There's only one battalion of Ward Riders in the field. It's not really going to have to worry too much about that. Those um, Mountain Giants are going to be working down these troops from afar. As they are the CGNs, they're going to be able to quite effectively... I want to target down these production buildings actually for Paku over here. Uh, Valiamar's base is actually going to get left alone as I think uh, Valiamar's is going to come over and try and take out Haku. I think Aber and Haku, uh, Valiamar's are going to work double up on Haku now that Valiamar is really not able to come over and defend. He's trying to send some uh, Harajim archers around that level 3 Harajim palace, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And actually here comes some more troops, the forward siege works, as well as more troops from Pink going up to the base of Valiamar over there. Uh, you do have, I think it was, not sure what it was there, I think the Pikes did work on one of those um, Mountain Giants, actually, Sheila a bit on the run over here, and as, she, as you can see in Vash 2 version 7, she can walk over impassable structures, so she will be walking over this entire mountain range over here. Um, but as you can see her walk right past and see her uh, former self over here, before she did begin working for these goblins. And actually, I think Hacker will be quitting out of this game, uh, will be defeated, I don't see he yet. Yeah, his base is destroyed, he was defeated. He will quit out. There's going to be a walker going down. But I think it's just a matter of time before this game is ever. So the first game here, uh, in case anyone was unaware of it from watching it or anyone was curious, this first game of the finals of this uh, salt tournament for Halloween is going to go to uh, Pink and Aber. Or Bellamus and Aber, if we're going by the uh, names they use for this tournament. And see Bauer going to go down in the back of the base to, really mark, to put the cake, uh, cherry on the topping over here. He's going to ignite and start melting all these structures. I think he can use his breathe fire right here and melt all these structures. Going to be a, a, a spiraling summon for Aber as these uh, forces of uh, Valimar is going to get deleted as well as the rest of his buildings and he will quit out and uh, concede the game to his opponents there. So well played to Haku and Valimar as well as well played to Belnos and Pink um, or Belnos and Aber there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what each player could have done to potentially capitalize I feel like the War Grudge Haku were a very good investment. Aber uh, for his part did not invest in those uh, counter to the war bearers fast enough and i think he relied a little bit too much on his ally there um and it's not a bad idea to rely on your ally but um until his ally did get that fell beast in the air and was able to start using it effectively he was basically at the mercy of haku as his orc warriors had no ability to really counter those war riders that were quickly snowballing for uh haku over there 
Um, so well played to Haku for seeing that his opponent did not really have much of a way to counter the War Riders and really taking advantage of that. Um, I hope you all enjoy this cast. Um, if you all did enjoy this uh, this map and this, this type of casting game, um, I suggest you go look at the Destroyer stream once again, uh, his YouTube channel, the Destroyer 00100, or 001. Or is it 100? I can't remember now. I think it is 100, the Destroyer 100. Or potentially is 001. I'm just gonna like quit there. Just it'll be a link in the description as well as uh, he is one of my featured channels on my page. Uh, you'll check it out and you will uh, look through his videos and find the Halloween tournament. And you can check out the rest of those videos there. There's uh, the semifinals, I believe, as well as the finals. I see the host at uh, those portions of the game or the tournament on Sunday of the tournament. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like uh, down below so I can know that. And if you did like it and let me know what you did think of it, the players could have done better to try and um, to try and better for the Northern team to try and better capitalize on their advantage there in the early on as they did lose that advantage. Um, as well as what the uh, uh, North Southern team did do to uh, capitalize on their opponent's inability to counter those flyers. Um, if you all could uh, let me know that down in the comments below as well as uh, what other type of games you would like to see. That would be great. If you are watching and you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate that as it really does help the channel as well as me. And it does help me um, keep me motivated motivated to figure out uh, what I can do to keep you all as interested as possible in this channel. As I really do enjoy getting these casts out, but I also really want to get stuff for you guys to enjoy as well. Uh, thank you also for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, I think we're going to be getting our regularly scheduled programming once up again. So, uh, sorry about the delay and I think we're going to be back at it.